Yep, we are making some changes to our debt snowball. Our debt snowball isn't really a technical debt snowball. It's a, we're just paying off debts in the order that we want to pay. We'd like to call it a debt snowball because we'd like to, you know, roll downhill. It's just, we're not putting the smallest to largest. But that's going to change. We are going to make some massive changes to our debt snowball. So stick around and see what we're going to do. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Welcome back. And yes, we are going to be making some huge changes to our debt snowball from our original plan. You will notice for the last couple of months, we have not paid off a huge amount of debt. And there's a reason for that, mostly irresponsibility on our part. But there are some things happening behind the scenes that I'm not quite ready to talk about yet. But there are going to be debt payoff changes. Now, I know I am a huge proponent of pick a plan and stick to it, but that's not the case this time. We picked a plan. We were going to focus on our largest debt and pay that off. And we put some payments to that over the last three months. But there's a couple of reasons that we are going to be making some changes. One, Mauricio and I are having issues with being motivated. That's that's a major factor. And so we need some small wins. So we're going to pay off the credit card next. And that... I'm hoping will excite us to, you know, keep going. The issue is that now we're not struggling financially. We weren't terribly struggling before, but now we're really not. And so we're lacking the motivation to get through the last little bit. And so we feel like the plan that we had picked was going to be more motivating, but it's not. So we have found that now we're prioritizing family and fun over paying off debt and that's not the way it should be. So we are going to go back to the snowball and we are going to pay off our credit card. So, you know, if you're of the learn from my mistake school, understand that for us, it's a motivation thing right now. Additionally, there are some other things going on behind the scenes with our living situation, which I will get into at some other time. Right now, everything's up in the air, but we potentially will need to pause our debt snowball and pile up some cash for moving expenses and whatnot. So we want to pay off as much as we can, as quickly as we can before we start piling up cash. And that USAA loan was going to take us until about May or June to pay off. So we're going to pay off a couple of our smaller loans and just plow through them as quickly as possible. Hopefully over the next two months, we will get the credit card paid off, hopefully in February. And then in March and April, we can tackle the car. And hopefully at that point, everything will be settled and we can go and stockpile cash if we need to for moving expenses. My graphics are from Undeadit. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I'll put a link to it down in the description box. I did a whole video on that. And, and if you want to learn how to use it, it's actually quite easy. I do recommend it for keeping you motivated in your debt payoff and, you know, looking at the different scenarios and how long it will take you to get debt paid off. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.